David Rantis here from Wake Up It's Football and with SB Nation. And today I'm going to bring you guys a video on the Green Bay Packers draft needs. I think it's been a long time coming, so uh, let's address it. I've addressed five needs um, that I've jotted down here, and I think the Packers need to address these needs. Um, offensively, let's talk about them first. I think three needs on the offensive side of the ball is going to be running back, wide receiver, and offensive tackle. Hitting on the tackle position first, I don't think the Green Bay Packers uh, were thinking that Marshall Newhouse was going to be the left tackle of the future. So I think the left tackle position needs to be addressed. Um, the blind side of Aaron Rodgers is the most important position, I, I think, on the team. If Aaron Rodgers goes down, the Green Bay Packers aren't the Green Bay Packers anymore. Aaron Rodgers is arguably the best quarterback in the league. You need to protect him at all times. I think the offensive tackle position needs to be addressed early in this draft. Wide receiver. Greg Jennings has made his departure to the Minnesota Vikings. Donald Driver has retired. You have Jordy Nelson, James Jones, and Randall Cobb uh, who make up that receiving core. Uh, I think it's going to be another one of those drafts where you see Ted Thompson drafting a day two receiver just like he did with Jennings, Nelson, Cobb, and uh, James Jones. That's just how Ted Thompson does it. So don't be surprised if you see a, a receiver in round two or three going to the Green Bay Packers. At a running back, I like Dewan Harris. I like that he came on early uh, or late in the season. But uh, is he going to be a three down back? Right now, there's talks that uh, Ahmad Bradshaw could be brought into Green Bay to uh, start there as a three down back for the Green Bay Packers. Unfortunately, the Packers did not go out and sign Steven Jackson. He signed a three year, $12 million deal with the Atlanta Falcons, um, but that's not a big deal. You know, Ahmad Bradshaw, 27 years old. Steven Jackson, I believe, is going to be 30 before the season starts. So he's three years younger, less mileage on him. I think Ahmad Bradshaw could be a solid pickup for the Green Bay Packers. Packers. If not, they could go out and draft somebody, you know, in the mid middle uh, rounds. Now, defense. I'd, I've identified two huge needs. I think the defense has more than two needs, but the two biggest ones I think is defensive end and a safety. A defensive end. You you brought in Jarrell Worthy last year in the second round. And, you know, he was all right. You know, I, I liked what I saw from him. You know, he was a rookie. He's still going to, you know, learn. But uh, Ryan Pickett on the other side is getting older. You're going to have to address that position yet again. Mike Neal is a question mark. You know, he showed flashes last season. And then Mike Daniels, I think, is going to be a solid backup, you know, rotational guy. But he's not going to be a starter. Uh, as for the safety position, to start alongside of Morgan Burnett, you have uh, Jerron Mc... What is it? It's McMillan, I believe it is. Um, McMillan was brought in in the fourth round, and I don't see him as a starter. And uh, MD Jennings was an undrafted free agent, I believe. I don't see him as a starter. I, I believe they're solid backups, but we need somebody physical. We need somebody who's you know, going to be uh, the one of the leaders on that defense to come in and I believe that's one thing the defense is lacking is physicality. Uh, the, the Green Bay Packers need to find somebody out at that position who's going to hit you hard. Nick Collins, ever since he hasn't been, um, uh, ever since he's made his departure due to his neck injury, the Packers' defense hasn't been the same, unfortunately. We need another guy like Nick Collins. We need somebody who's going to be in there. I wanted to see the Green Bay Packers go out and address maybe like a Deshaun Golson, but he signed with the Buccaneers already. Um, somebody who's physical. And if, if you're looking for someone who's physical, the guy who comes to mind in this upcoming draft is going to be safety Matt Elam out of Florida. Matt Elam by far is the most physical player I've watched on tape. Uh, he's He puts his body out on the line every single play. Uh, the only downside to that is, uh, does he hurt himself doing that, you know? So I think Matt Elam is a possibility for the Green Bay Packers. I don't see him going in the second or third round. I see him as a first-round selection, late first-round selection, as as low as a early second. So if the Packers want to grab a, a physical safety, they're going to have to do it in the first round in Matt Elam. Other than that, I want to know what you guys think. Throw your comments down below. Uh, throw you know free agent prospects, um, draft prospects down, what you guys think the Packers should do at some of these positions. And uh, at some of the other positions I didn't mention. So, uh, again, David Rantis here from Wake Up It's Football and with SB Nation.